If I ask you where gold comes from, you might say deep within the Earth. Or some of you might even say from supernova explosions in space. But how many of you would say from magnetars? These are some of the most bizarre objects in the universe, and a new study says they might explain one of astronomy's big mysteries. So most gold we use is extracted from ore deep within the Earth, but that's not where it was made. We've known for some 70 years that the gold and other heavy metals we find on Earth were formed billions of years ago during supernovas, the explosions of massive stars. But in the last few decades, scientists came to realise that supernovas alone couldn't account for all the heavy metals we see in the universe. There had to be other ways to make gold. And in 2017, we found one of those ways. Astronomers detected the merging of two neutron stars, the incredibly dense cores of dead stars. And they found that this colossal collision produced a huge amount of heavy metals, including gold. But even adding neutron star mergers to the equation still doesn't account for all of the gold in the universe. That's when astronomers turned to magnetars. These are neutron stars with incredibly strong magnetic fields, the strongest in the universe. And they're known to release sudden, colossal flares. Scientists detected one blast in 2004 that lasted just a few seconds, but released more energy than our sun will release in a million years. And about 10 minutes later, they detected a second, weaker signal. And that second signal remained a mystery for 20 years. But now, astronomers think they finally know what it was. They say the second signal was the creation of billions of tons of gold, along with other heavy metals like platinum and uranium. And they think eruptions like these could account for up to 10% of the galaxy's heavy elements. So next time you see some fancy jewellery, just know that materials might have been formed in a massive explosion on a magnetar.